The countdown is on to Super Bowl 54, and whether it's Hard Rock Stadium, the Convention Center on Miami Beach, or Bayfront Park, crews are busy getting ready for a week of football and fun. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live at Hard Rock Stadium with more on the preparations underway. Hi, Joan. Hey, well, who doesn't love a deadline? You know, I do, and you're really feeling the deadline pressure here at Hard Rock Stadium. You know, we've been talking about it forever, but the Super Bowl is now just 12 days away, so they're kicking it into high gear here and all over South Florida to get ready for the big event. The field is new, the jumbotrons are working, and the competing teams have their names up for Super Bowl 54. But make no mistake, there's work to be done before game day at Hard Rock Stadium. All the decor that has to go in, we have to uh, continue to build out all of the media facilities. We have, um, you know, the, the end zones have to be painted. Uh, we have to, you know, get all of the food prepared, you know, for the game and make sure that we have the right amounts in the right areas. You know, there's a reason why, you know, why we show up at the beginning of January. It's because we know we need that time to just, you know, get everything done. If you are lucky enough to sit in one of these seats for the Super Bowl and wonder how you will get that all important text or Instagram out. This is our fiber distribution area. This is our core. This is our brains. This is what makes it all work. Verizon has spent millions on upgrades, giving us a peek at the nerve center close to the stadium. We've invested $80 million of enhancements in our capacity that's going to be here long after the Super Bowl. It's going to be permanent enhancement that our customers, that visitors can enjoy throughout Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. Away from the Hard Rock in Miami, they're putting the finishing touches on Bayfront Park for Super Bowl Live. We're starting this weekend. There will be concerts and fireworks. So Super Bowl Live, free, open to the public. It's the Fan Fest. If you don't have a ticket to the Super Bowl or you just want to spend some time at some great Super Bowl activity, it's all here at Miami Live. And don't forget, on Miami Beach, the stage is set for the Super Bowl experience at the convention center. This is half a million square feet of interactive fan festival. Um, this is certainly something that you can see players up close and personal. You can get autographs. We, we're already getting the list through. Jerry Rice will be here. Joe Montana will be here. Dan Marino will be here. So do we need to say it again? 12 days and counting till the Super Bowl. But remember, a lot of these other events get going this weekend. And for a complete list of the days and times, go to our webpage, CBSMiami.com. In Miami Gardens tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. All right, Joan, a lot going on. CBSMiami.com has everything you'd want to know about the Super Bowl and our Super Bowl weekend from a guide to the Super Bowl party scene for visitors and locals. So all the latest news and some fun web extras. It's all in one convenient place. CBSMiami.com slash Super Bowl.